Hello everyone. In this particular video, we will be uh, having a look at few sums from my workbook uh, covering the subtraction small friend formulas for minus 3 and minus 4. Uh, before you look, have a look at this video, I hope you have already seen my lesson 3 video which uh, explains the use of small friend uh, subtraction formula. Okay, so if you haven't seen that video, I have given the link in the description. Please do have a look at it before you watch this video. This video is in support to that uh, explanation. Okay, so let's start with a few sums from this uh, workbook. Uh, let's consider one sum here, this first one. Okay, the first number is 9. I'll start with 9. The next number is minus 1. I have one bead available for subtraction. I can do it directly. Another num next number is minus 3. This time also I have 3 beads available for subtraction. Hence I can do the minus 3 directly. And for the last number which is again a minus 3. I don't have any bead available here for subtraction on the lower side. But I do have the bead of 5 available for subtraction. Hence I can use the small friend subtraction formula for minus 3. The small friend for 3 is 2. So for subtracting 3, I will add its friend and subtract 5 to finish the subtraction of 3. So plus 2 minus 5 takes care of the subtraction of 3 part uh, whenever we use the small friend formula. And the final answer that we have for this sum is 2. Okay, let's have a look at uh, one sum from this row. Let's consider this one. The first number is 63. So I have taken 63 here. The next number is addition of 4. To add 4 on the units place, I don't have enough beads available here. Hence, I will use its small friend addition formula which is plus 5 minus 1 as 1 is the small friend of 4. Okay. Now, the next number is minus 3. For subtracting 3 here, I don't have enough beads available here to subtract. I have only 2 beads available but I will not touch them as they are not sufficient. So, I will use the small friend formula of 3 minus 3. Small friend of 3 is 2. So, for, for subtracting 3, I will add its friend. So, plus 2 and minus do minus 5 here to finish the subtraction of 3 on the units place. Okay. So, coming to the last number, it is minus 2. For subtracting 2, I have 2 beads available for subtraction. So, I will do it directly. And the final answer that we have for this particular sum is 62. Okay. Let's uh, have a look at one sum from the next row. Let's consider this particular sum. The first number is 1. It started with 1. The next number is uh, 46. For addition of 46, I need to add 4 on the tens place, which I can do directly. And 6 on the units place. This also I can do directly. I have enough beads available. So if addition of 46 is done. Moving to the next number, it is minus 13. For subtracting 13, I need to subtract 1 on the tens place, which I can do directly. And 3 on the units place, which I cannot do directly as I don't have enough beads available here. Hence, I'll use its small friend subtraction formula, which is plus 2 minus 5. Okay, so plus 2 minus 5 takes care of the minus 3 part here. Now, last number here is minus 2. I can do it directly. I have enough beads available. So, it's done. And the final answer for this sum is 32. Okay. Moving to the last row. Let's have a look at a couple of examples from this row. Let's consider uh, this particular sum here. The first number is 36. So, I'll start with uh, 36 here. The next number is addition of 20. For addition of 20, I need to add 2 on the tens place this time. So on the tens place I don't have enough beads available for addition. Hence I'll use its small friend so addition formula which is plus 5 minus 3. Okay so addition of 20 is done. The next number is minus 3. On the units place I don't have 3 beads available for subtraction. Hence I will use its small friend subtraction formula which is plus 2 minus 5. And the last number to be added is 2. I don't have enough beads available here for addition. Hence, I will use its small friend addition formula this time on the units place. So, it is plus 5 minus 3 and addition of 2 is done. So, the final answer that we have for this particular sum is 55. Let's consider one more example from this page. Uh, let's have a look at this particular uh, sum. Okay. 
So for this sum, uh, the first number is 24. We'll start with 24. The next number is 30. For addition of 30, I need to add 3 on the tens place. I don't have 3 bits available for addition. Hence, I use a small friend addition formula, which is plus 5 minus 2. Okay, so addition of 30 is done. The next number is addition of 2 on the units place this time. So similarly, I'll uh, think on similar lines and say, see, I, I don't have enough bits available for addition here. Hence, I'll use the small friend addition formula of 2, which is plus 5 minus 3. And the last number to be uh, done is minus 3. On the units place, I don't have enough bits available to subtract. Hence, I'll use its small friend subtraction formula, which is plus 2 minus 5. And the subtraction of 3 is done. So the final answer that we have for this sum is, this particular sum is 53. Now let's move to the next page. Let's consider one sum from the first row. Uh, let's check out uh, this particular sum. The first number is 8. Next number is minus 3. For minus 3, we can do it directly. We have enough bits available. The next number is minus 4. So this cannot be done directly. So we'll have to use its small friend subtraction formula. Small friend of 4 is 1. So we'll add 1 and subtract 5 to finish this subtraction of 4 using its small friend formula. The last number to be added is 7. We can do it directly. We have enough bits. So the final answer that we have for this sum is 8. Moving to the next row, let's consider uh, the sum, uh, this one. The first number is 68, so I'll take 68 on the abacus. The next number is minus 3, we can do minus 3 directly, we have enough bits available. The next number is minus 4, for subtracting 4 here on the units place, I don't have enough bits available, so I'll add its small friend, small friend of 4 is 1, so I'll do plus 1, minus 5 and finish the subtraction of 4. And the last number to be added is 7 again, so we'll add 7 directly. And the final answer that we have for this sum is 68. Moving to the next row. Let's consider uh, this particular sum. The first number is uh, 29. So I'll start with 29. The next number is minus 6. For subtracting 6 on the units place, I have enough bits available. So I'll subtract 6 directly. Okay, it's done. The next number is addition of 5. For addition of 5, I do have the bead of 5 available, so I'll add it directly. And the last number is minus 4. For doing minus 4 on the units place, I don't have enough bits available. So I'll use its small friend subtraction formula, which is plus 1 minus 5. And the subtraction of 4 is done. The final answer that we have for this particular sum is 24. Now let's look at a couple of examples from the last row. Okay, so let's consider this particular sum for initially. The first number is 46. So I've taken 46 on the abacus. The next number is 22. For addition of 22, I need to add 2 on both the rods. Okay, tens place as well as units place. So I'll start with tens place. I, I don't have enough bits available for addition here. So I'll use its small friend addition formula for 2, which is plus 5 minus 3. Okay, so tens place addition of 2 is done. Coming to the units place, 2 needs to be added here as well. I have enough bits available, so I'll add it directly. The next number is minus 4. For subtraction of 4, I need to use its small friend subtraction formula, which is plus 1 minus 5. Okay, And the last number is subtraction of 3, which we can do directly as we have enough bits available for subtraction. So subtraction of 3 is done. The final answer that we have for this particular sum is 61. Let's consider one final example from this uh, uh, page. Let's look at this one. The first number is 83. Okay, so I'll take 83 to start with. The next number is minus 41. Okay, so for subtracting 41, I need to subtract 4 on the tens place and 1 on the units place. I'll start from the left side. So on the tens place to subtract 4, I don't have enough bits available here. Hence, I'll use its small friend subtraction formula, which is plus 1 minus 5. And coming to the units place, I need to subtract 1, which we can do directly. The next number is addition of 3. 
for addition of three on the units place we don't have enough beads available here hence we'll use its small friend addition formula which is plus five minus two and the last number is minus four for subtracting four this time it will be done on the units place as it's a one digit number and for subtracting four on the units place we will have to use its small friend subtraction formula which is plus one minus five and the final answer that we have for this sum is 41 okay so i hope you have understood all these uh, 10 examples that i have demonstrated on in this video in case of any difficulties uh, with this concept please do write it in the comment section i'll try and uh, uh, address those difficulties in an upcoming video thank you